Have you ever wanted to train your own OpenAI fine-tuned model? Well, today I'm going to teach you how to do that with new data or with prior data. So the first thing that you might want to consider is creating your own data set. Well, don't <coughs> leave this godforsaken land, but if you must, I would definitely say use Copyfish. Copyfish is a great extension on Chrome that is very easy to use to take any text out of any image. So if you're using something along the lines of this image, then I'd say you're completely fine. Now, let's say, for example, you decided to download a already compiled data set. Congrats, you made the right choice. You're done getting data. Well, let's just say that you decided to make your own data set. Well, there's a few key characteristics that you need for a OpenAI fine-tuned model. Number one, uh, you have to have a properly formatted JSON file. The first key step is creating this bracket, ending your file with that bracket. The next thing you're going to do is use these curly brackets to create each distinct prompt. So you're going to have a prompt side where you have prompt colon, the funniest thing that you can think of, um, or the prompt that you would like to give the open AI, the fine tuned model experience with. And then you're going to have a completion where you're going to answer what you think is a good answer to such a prompt. After you've done this and you've created all of these data points for the open AI model to tr be trained on, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your accounts with open AI. You're also going to open up terminal and you're going to CD all the way into where you have this .json file. So for us, it's going to be then this InstaRiz folder. Once you open these things up and you get into the folder that you want to be in, you're going to use this pip install upgrade OpenAI. What this does is it allows us to use the command terminal uh, with OpenAI. I've already downloaded it, so I, I didn't need to do that, but for your purposes, um, it's good to see. The second thing that you're going to do is you're going to export this OpenAI API key, put that right here in your terminal. I've already done that and I don't want to show my OpenAI API key. So you go ahead and do that. After that, you have to actually use this OpenAI tools, fine tunes, prepare data, local file. And what this does is it's going to reconfigure your data from a JSON file to a JSON L file. So kind of like a learning file. The two key distinctions between the prep data and the final data that you're going to be using in this JSON L file is there's going to be a few key endings that are going to be added to your prompts, a few key endings added to your conclusions or your com uh, completions so that OpenAI knows which one's a prompt and which one's a completion when you're writing to it. Second thing, when you put in the local file, you're going to be putting in where the file is. So you're already in the folder. So you're probably going to just have to say, uh, for me, it's pickuplines.json. So it's going to ask us a few things. I'm going to say yes to them all where you see it's going to have some separators that it's going to add and then some ending suffix suffixes that it's going to add. And we're going to be creating our JSON L file. After that, we're going to use our open API fine tunes create dash T train file ID or path. We're going to put this right over here. I really like using DaVinci and this training file ID path. This is essentially what you're going to write down. Pick up lines dot JSON L and from here you can run it and it's going to fine tune your job. It's going to tell you your fine tune job ID. And then from there, you're going to take that fine tune model. It's going to tell you what it is and then you get to use it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button or else.